Sure, hope you're having a great Sunday so far. Mix of sun and clouds for the rest of the day today. We had a weak disturbance moving its way two hours south. Really didn't do much, but maybe a couple of sprinkles earlier this morning, and that was really about the extent of it. So dry weather for the day today. Monday and Tuesday, though, we're talking about a reinforced shot of some colder air, so that's going to drop our temperatures for highs. We're talking about frost and a hard freeze as we get into our Monday and Tuesday morning hours, and then relatively quiet and dry with some seasonable temperatures through most of the week, but... Then we're going to be talking about another chance of rain as we round out the week and head into the start of next weekend. Although, it doesn't look like it's going to produce a whole lot of precipitation. So let's go ahead and talk about the forecast for the day today. We're going to see those temperatures climb nicely back to the mid to upper 60s. We are going to see a nice evening around town as well. We'll drop in the mid-50s by 8 to low 50s by 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, but by the way, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I forgot my green. I forgot my green. What was I thinking? All right, let's move on with the forecast. So again, a mix of sun and clouds. We'll likely have more cloud coverage across the Mountain County, Southern Valley for a better part of the day versus the Northern Valley up across the Tennessee, Kentucky border. But uh, other than that, we're really looking at some quieter weather conditions to continue to work its way on through the area. Now, low temperatures tonight will drop down into the 30s. So some frost developing early Monday morning and then a hard freeze likely Tuesday morning. High temperatures will stay on the chillier side Monday, Tuesday. Chilly, yes, considering that we've been in the 60s, 70s, and even close to 80 degrees this past week. Are your allergies bothering you? There's a reason why. Elevated pollen counts across East Tennessee for the next five days, so take that allergy medicine. This is all you care to know. Have a great day. Let's go to the big picture weather pattern and talk about what's going on. Our disturbances are down to our south, so no rainfall here around East Tennessee. We're going to stay quiet and dry. But as I mentioned, we've got a trough and a cold front that's swinging its way into the area. Trough is to our north and west, uh, but through the day today, that trough starts to work its way into our area. And that's going to give us the clearing skies overnight tonight and allow for that frost to be forming. And that's going to drop our temperatures. Big old trough of low pressure. Low pressure is lousy weather, right? Uh, although we're not lo looking at a lot of precipitation. And we're going to stay rain-free all the way through basically Thursday. And then Friday, we'll see those elevated rain chances kind of ramp up across the area as we have another wave in the atmosphere. That's going to be swinging its way into our area. That's going to spark off some uh, showers possibly around the southeastern U.S. Now, there's a lot of unknowns. It's still five, six days away, so plenty of time for this to evolve over time. But as it stands right now, well, the Weather Prediction Center just doesn't have a whole lot of moisture. Big old bubble of no trouble across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. Most of the rain is going to be to our south, to our north and off to our east. So no major issues here. Uh, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a huge rainmaker. But again, make sure you check back in. So it is going to be chilly Monday, Tuesday. Temperatures rebound back to those seasonal averages as we get into our Wednesday, Thursday time frame. And when we're talking low temperatures, well, yeah, it's going to be chilly. Tuesday is going to be the coldest morning with morning lows coming in in the upper 20s. Then we'll be in the 30s and 40s for the rest of the week. But don't forget that, uh, listen, our average last freeze and frost is typically uh, into the month of April. So we still have plenty of time for things to uh, change and plenty of time for the colder air to swing its way into the area. Download the East Tennessee Weather app today. It's free, 100% free. Why? Because weather is free. We all have it on our cell phones, but come to a trusted source. Go to the Google Play Store and the App Store, or the App Store, I should say, and just search East TN Weather, all one word. Have a great rest of your Sunday.